Well, there, the the idea of this uh, lady in white that been has been reported. She's been uh, known by several different names. Uh, if you go to the internet, you might hear her called Mrs. Rogers, uh, even the uh, the Madonna of Bachelors Grove. Uh, the story actually starts probably, to my knowledge, somewhere back in the 1970s or so where people would go out there sometimes on moonlit nights and see a woman dressed in a white gown or bridal gown, wedding gown, or a dance gown of some kind, very, 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 very frilly, um, kind of holding uh, an infant daughter in her hands. Uh, and she would often be seen on moonlit nights. Uh, there are, there's at least one tombstone in the cemetery that says infant daughter on it. And it's now by the Fulton tombstone, and but some of my historical research indicates that it may have been related to a guy called D.W. Rogers. So that's where maybe the Mrs. Rogers story comes into play. Uh, of course, later, um, my good friend Pete Crapia from BachelorsGrove.com uh, kind of discounted that story and said it was probably related to somebody else in the cemetery. Um, the we're not really exactly sure who it is. I mean, one of my good friends, Len Dorman, who has been out there a number of times and investigated out there, uh, he believes that it might be um, um, uh, Amelia uh, Humphrey. Um, I believe that's what her name is. Uh, there's, there's actually a, a tombstone out there under that name. And uh, he claims to have been in contact with her many times uh, out there. Um, and um, so that uh, is a possibility. In looking at the actual photograph that was taken by Jude Huff back in August 10th, 1991, in uh, comparing that with the pictures we have of that woman, there is a very distinct uh, similarity in the two images. So it very well could be that person. Um, again, we only have a side profile of the woman sitting on the tombstone. 